Hello, and welcome back to Dog on RVN. Got my two girls here with me. A lot of people have been asking, well, what do I pack in my first aid kit when the girls and I take off for months at a time? Well, stay tuned, and we'll lay it all out for you. Oh, won't we, girls? Yeah. Well, hello, and welcome back. Well, we've moved indoors so I can give you an idea of what I carry in our first aid kits when we travel. The first one up here is my little compact first aid kit that I take with us when we're backpacking or day hiking up into the Alpine Lakes in our area. And that's kind of right down to the nitty gritty. The things that I would absolutely have to have just to get the dogs out safely from our trail to the car and to the vet. I've got a small one like this that's red. That's my own personal hiking first aid kit. So I carry this one and the one that complements this because some things in mine can also be used with the dogs. And that takes care of our hiking safety. Now these two, I bought two of these because they were uh, the very basic type of first aid kit, you know, band-aids and a few of these ointments and a few of that, but I liked the case. It was good, solid case, and I felt I could build from these. So I got two of them, and let's open them up. As you can see, I've got a multitude of items, different things over here, different things over here, and um, I've got information in here. I'm gonna lay all these out and then go over them so you can understand what I bring and why I bring it based on my experiences hiking, camping, and traveling with my girls. So let's do that. Before I spread out all the first aid supplies I have in my two kits, I wanted to show you the books that I've had for quite a few years that have helped me a great deal in learning the first aid and the health issues my dogs might have. The first one is canine medicine. The next one is also canine medicine. And the next one is animal health technology. Along with the Dog Owner's Home Veterinary Handbook. Now, these books are for vet techs. At one time I was gonna to study to become a vet tech because of my love for animals. I bought these books, they're very expensive. At least they were then, I, I'm sure they are still. But they're very technical. They've helped me diagnose my dogs as a layman. So when I went into the vet, I could intelligently discuss what was happening to my dog. And I didn't just stand there and listen to the vet babble scientific medical technology I had no clue to. So, anyway, these books have been very helpful. They've uh, validated my interest in what was wrong with my dogs. I've been able to go into the vet and say, I believe my dog has this or this problem based on these facts and have agreed with the vet. So anyway, anyone that's serious about their dogs and taking care of them the best they can and, and learning what you can learn. So when you go into the vet to discuss your dog's health problems or issues, you go in with knowledge. So that being said, let's see what I pack away in my dog's first aid kits. This is a view of the items I have packed in the two first aid kits I carry for my dogs when we're out traveling and it doesn't look like much because these are basically just the basics. 
I will add to these depending on the time of year and the season and the areas that we'll be traveling through. So I'm ready for whatever we might encounter in the different environments and the different states we travel through in our journeys. But let's go up here. First thing you see is we have lots of elastic cell sticking wrap that's called vet wrap and those are especially useful when you put a gauze wrap or a band-aid on your dog and you don't want it picking it off. They're elastic, stretchable, and very comfortable, and they keep the band-aids on. There we have a little item that I carry the aspirin for the dogs that I get at PetSmart. You can also get aspirin from your vet, but for me, the ones I've got at PetSmart have worked just as well and cost a great deal less. Then also I have my uh, veterinarian card with information on the back that tells about my two dogs, their microchip numbers, and everything I need for ID by any vet that might find them. Plus a picture of the two. In case they do get loose, I can show these two people and they'll know exactly the breed and exactly the look of the dogs that I've asked them to find. And next to that, of course, is a little bottle of hand sanitizer. And over here is some Playtex gloves for when you're working on your dog, if necessary. And we'll come down here and we have all kinds of ointments. We have styptic powder, uh, first aid spray, eye cleaning, and this little gadget here, which works great for when you're giving your dog medicine or maybe you just have to rinse its mouth out or rinse a tooth out and then over here we have various little packets of antiseptic uh, topical antibiotics hydrocortisone cream and iodine pads these are all for preparing an injury cleaning it out before you apply a sterile gauze and then wrap over the sterile gauze with the vet wrap to hold it in place. Also I carry various tools. I've gotten some of these from the dentist over the years. Uh, a little a little oral examination mirror for checking out their mouths and a little rubber tip pointer for maybe cleaning things out between their teeth. I have my little Swiss Army knife. I have a thermometer for their temperature. I have a pin light because sometimes a little extra light helps when you're inspecting their mouth or a wound. I have blunt nose scissors. I have a little toothbrush for cleaning things out. I have a Bic lighter and I use that if I have to sterilize anything. I have some tongue depressors that I can also use for splints. I have a steel nail file. I have a tick picker and a tick idea showing the kinds of ticks there are and how to safely remove them from the dog. I have the dog's uh, ointment for fleas, ticks, lice, and biting flies that I carry. I have a container of Q-tips, which are very valuable as far as cleaning out the dog's ears or helping to clean a injury on the dog. Down here I have some other tweezers, a whistle. I have a soft muzzle because depending on how well your dog handles pain, you might have to put that on them so you can safely care for your dog. And I have various size sterile gauzes from 2x2 two two to 3x3 three three to 4x4. Four four. Now, as I said, this is like the bare bones that I always carry. Right now, I'm down in some of these items, and I need to 
replace them because they do have a shelf life on them and I can go to uh, various drug stores and pick some up or I can go to uh, REI or some outdoor place and buy a small first aid kit to re-up what I have in these but these have been very helpful on the trail and on the road because the dogs being as active as they are do sometimes hurt themselves basically just scratches and cuts that I can easily clean out and mend without having to take them to a vet so this is just the bare basics that I take for the girls and as I said before depending on where we're going to go in our travels over the months the different states the different environments the different temperatures and environments that we will pass through with their uh, insects animals and such that we have to be aware of depending on the time of season I'll add those first aid items to the basic we have here so I'll have those included for their own safety so that just kind of winds up our first aid kit the basics that we take and always have at hand and like I said some of the first aid ointments and stuff I have in my own personal kit also back up what I have here because sometimes depending on how badly your dog is hurt it's hard to put this stuff on them and it's a hard for it to stay on because they may lick it off so it's nice to know that the first aid creams the antibiotics that I use in my own personal kit can be also used on my dogs once these are used up or if they lick them off so I'll have another video coming that shows all the other stuff that I bring for my active dogs on the trip that I can't pack into these little first aid kits and together with the basic first aid kits here and the active kits that I bring I think I've got all the bases covered so watch for that next one of all the first aid gear and health gear I bring for active dogs in addition to having these basic first aid kits till then take care drive safely and woof woof Thank you.